What is up you guys? It is Katya Bolt. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to such an epic protein powder review. Yes, this is one I'm probably way more excited for than any before because, well, as you saw from the title in the thumbnail, we're trying Bomar Nutrition's vegan protein powder. And no, not just one flavor, but freaking like, I think we have like seven flavors here. And these are flavors I have never seen before by any other company. So this is gonna be really epic. And I'm really hoping that they taste good and they stand up to like the title of their flavors because they are wild. And if I like them, then of course I am gonna recommend them and I'm probably gonna buy it myself. See if I can get affiliated, that kind of stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go through the flavors and then whenever I try them, I'll go through the macros with you guys, but they're all very similar when it comes to the macros. So I'm gonna have to definitely split it up because I can't just try it all in one sitting. So I'm gonna like try one now. You'll see me post-workout, you know, we'll split it up, but it'll be like a YouTube minute. So anyways, the flavors we got here. Okay, the only ones that are similar to anything else are, we've got peanut butter cookie, so obviously like a peanut butter flavor. We've got fruity cereal, so I wonder if it's gonna take like that taste like the Live Body, you know, fruity hoops or whichever that flavor is called. And then I feel like I've only tried this only once or twice at a vegan protein powder, but cookies and cream. Otherwise, newer flavors we've got is chocolate almond coconut. We have cinnamon cereal. So it's supposed to be like a cinnamon toast crunch. This one I'm pretty excited for. Pecan pie. Yes, I say pecan, not pecan. Cherry pie. That sounds so good. I love cherry pie. Blueberry donut. So I wonder if this will be somewhat like the blueberry muffin by Live Body, but just called blueberry donut. So another one that is somewhat similar. And then banana nut bread. Only time we've had a banana flavor was the banana cereal by Ghost. And there was like a banana nut bread by One Up Nutrition, which was like eight. So <laughs> these are all exciting. And as you see from all of them, they've got you know, 20 grams of protein, some of them zero fat, some of them one gram of fat. But anyway, so many flavors. I don't know what to start with. If we're gonna be like, ooh, what am I craving right now? You know, I think I wanna go for cookies and cream. I love me some Oreos. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, put it in a jar with just some water, no shaker ball, and we're gonna give it a taste test. All right, so we got it mixed it up right here. It mixed perfectly and it looks like I pretty much blended up Oreo, so enjoying the color. And in this, we've got 100 calories, 0.5 fat, 5 carb, and 20 protein. So excited to give this a try. Mmm, smells pretty good. They nailed it. Yep. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yes, 100% cookies and cream and this is vegan oh, this is seriously so good oh my gosh i'm definitely gonna have to hit them up like even if it was just for this flavor and like all the others sucked <laughs> i want to get you guys like a coupon code this is amazing oh my gosh yes 10 out of 10 yeah so i quickly drank that meaning i freaking loved it wow what a way to start this review that was Amazing. So I'm definitely gonna write with a Sharpie my score of what I thought of them. That is a freaking perfect 10 out of 10. I love it. Oh my goodness. So I can't wait to try the next flavors. But anyways, so I'll catch you in a bit when we try some other flavor. We'll see what I'm craving next. Okay, so back from the gym and time to try another flavor of the protein powders that we got here. And ah. Uh, I just, I was gonna save it for like last, but I just wanna jump right into it anyways and try the cherry pie. So, got my jar right here. I'm gonna fill it up with some water, pop this in, and then we're gonna taste test it. All right, I know the lighting's not the best, but it does have like a tint of like a redness to it. Like, in the camera, it looks kind of brown as though it was chocolate milk, 
but oh, so excited to try such a wild flavor like this. Oh, by the way, it has 90 calories, zero fat, three carb, and 20 protein. What is this made of if it's zero fat? So it's like pea protein concentrate, pumpkin seed protein, sunflower seed, watermelon seed, natural flavor, salt, root and vegetable juice, sucralose and citric acid, super simple, clean ingredients. So yeah. Oh my gosh, that smells like cherry. Ooh, I'm excited. That is wild. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't necessarily call it cherry pie. I'd call it, it you could just call it just cherry. Oh my goodness. But it tastes like real cherry, not like fake cherry, like um, like that medicinal cherry taste, like Pepto Bismol. Nothing like that. It tastes like a red, like one of those deep red cherries. Not even. It's kind of like in between maraschino cherry and like red cherry. So it does have like this little extra sweetness that you know it's not fully real, but it tastes legit like cherry, and it's strong and it's prominent and it's no weird aftertaste or anything. Texture wise. It's not gritty, but there is like some type of texture that I feel left over on my tongue. But otherwise it's like fairly smooth. I mean, it's not a bother to me whatsoever. If you put this in a smoothie, oh my gosh. Chocolate cherry smoothie with this. Yo, I would buy a tub of this. I would. Now, I'm a person who likes cherry. I know there's probably not many people who like cherry. So I would give this then more of a nine out of 10 because I feel like not many people are fond of cherry. I wouldn't say it straight up tastes like cherry pie. You could just call this like cherry jubilee or something of the sort and it would be perfect. So nine out of 10 for this one, but it is really freaking good if you like cherry. All right, so cookies and cream and cherry pie has been tasted so far. So time to try another flavor. And I think I am gonna go for a semi-familiar, maybe we'll switch it off doing like Familiar to like brand new flavors. So starting with the cookies and cream to the cherry pie So I think I want to try the peanut butter cookie because you know your girl loves her peanut butter So let's see if it stands up even to my standard All right, so this one mixed up perfectly and in the peanut butter cookie It's got 110 calories 0.5 fat 5 carb and 22 protein these protein powders, they all a little bit differ with their macros, but they have been like really good macros so far. So mixed great. Let's give it a try. It smelled nice and peanut buttery. So I'm looking forward to this one, of course. That is perfect. Oh my gosh. Honestly, just speechless. This is perfect. 10 out of 10. They nailed it when it came to nice, creamy peanut butter cookie recipe. Like, wow. Oh my goodness. Or cookie flavor. I'm so used to saying like recipe after the word cookie. So peanut butter cookie flavor. Oh my gosh. It is spot on. So freaking delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely gonna have to get myself some of this. Oh. I wish there was more to the protein because it's very simple and it has a pea protein, pumpkin seed. So it should give you your full aminos, but it doesn't break it down either, nor does it like give a digestive blend or anything of the sort. But for a very simple protein, yo, three flavors down and oh my gosh, mind blown at this moment. So yes, uh, I I'm speechless. Tastes like peanut butter. That's all I have to say. 10 out of 10. All right. Catch you for the next flavor. All right, so time to try another flavor and I think I'm gonna just go for it and try the pecan pie because I've been waiting too long to try this. So I'm gonna mix it up real quick and get back to you. So this one mixed so quickly, so well. But anyways, it this one has 90 calories, zero fat, three carb and 20 protein. Yo, these protein powders, are gonna definitely come in handy when it comes to entering a prep when I have to be like lower fat and I'm just trying to get some protein in. Definitely gonna hop on that train. Okay, it smells just sweet so far. I don't know what to anticipate when in regards to like pecan flavor. Whoa, that's pretty trippy. Now, when I taste it at first, I get kind of that nuttiness that's not like almond or anything. 
It tastes kind of like a cinnamon, a sweetness. It doesn't scream like pecan pie, but I can see that if you told someone that it's pecan pie, they'll say, oh, it's pecan pie. But if I wasn't told the name of the flavor, I wouldn't know what to guess of it. Like it's kind of nutty, kind of cinnamony, sweet. It's so, it's difficult to describe, but it doesn't scream pecan pie, but it's not bad. It tastes really good, really sweet. I like it. Not as much as the other flavors. I mean, there's so many flavors that if I had to like go and buy one, so far I'd probably get the other three over this one. So I'll rate this one like a 7.5 out of 10 because it's really good, but I don't know if I'm gonna just jump on the train of buying a tub, but it tastes good for what it is. I mean, I would think pecan pie would be a difficult flavor to create, but it's super smooth, tastes good. I like it. All right, so we have five flavors left to try. So I think I'm gonna just like randomize it. I'll close my eyes. Dropped one. Let's do the one that I dropped. Okay, chocolate, almond, coconut. All right, I'm gonna mix this up with some water and then we're gonna taste test it. All right, so mixed up right here and this one has 110 calories, 0.5 fat, five carbs, and 21 protein. All right, nice chocolate color. Mmm, I can smell like the chocolate coconut, so let's see if the almond part comes out. Mmm, mmm, that's really nice. Mmm, okay, like I said, I think I mentioned it with one of the flavors that there is kind of like a texture, like a mouthfeel that you get when you have it with just water. So if that's ever a bother to anyone, just mix it with some milk and it'll probably go away. But of course, like in a smoothie, it's gonna taste good, but the chocolate and the coconut are definitely like the two prominent flavors. And there's like a very, very, very small hint of like, it reminds me of almond extract. If you're familiar with like almond extract in cookies and baking, you would know what the flavor tastes like. Otherwise, if you're not familiar with the flavor, to you, you'll taste the chocolate coconut. And I love it, it's a really good balance, not overpowering on either of the two flavors. Mm. That's really good. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of like a chocolate coconut flavor when it comes to at least a protein powder. I love chocolate coconut candies. So it could or could not be a flavor that like I purchase in the size of a tub. So I'm gonna give this one like an 8.5 out of 10 because it's really, really good, but it's not gonna be my like direct go-to if I would have to pick one flavor to grab so far, but absolutely delicious, love it. Go give it a try. I'll catch you for the next flavor. All right, pardon the beach hair, but we've got four left to try. So we are going to do banana nut bread. Awesome. All right, let me mix this up with some water so we can try it out. All right, here we are with the banana nut bread. So this has 90 calories, zero fat, three carb, 20 protein. Such awesome macros. Anyways. Mmm, smells good. Now the thing I've noticed about any banana flavor protein powders that I've tried is there's always kind of that fakey, almost laffy taffy taste to it. So let's see if this has that. Wow. Okay. It's sweet, but it tastes more real banana than it does laffy taffy. Like I'm amazed, wow. That's probably the best banana like protein powder I, or banana flavored protein powder that I have tried yet so far because not many brands out there have them because I mean, I think it was only Ghost that had the banana pancake and that was really sweet but good. And I think one up nutrition, but this is, wow. Mm. Very pleasantly surprised, like wow, I would, I would buy this, yeah. But due to the possibility of it not being as popular of a flavor, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Like, it's not my favorite, but it is really spot on when it comes to the taste of banana. Like, a, And there is almost like a breadiness to it. It's, it's hard to describe. But yeah, to call it banana nut bread, 
is quite accurate. There is like a nuttiness almost to it as well. So they really did a good job with this. So nine, 9.5 out of 10. Let's do that. All right, three flavors to go. Got them right here. So let's go for fruity cereal. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm loving like this pinkish color that it has created. And this is, or has, 100 calories, zero fat, four carb, and 20 protein. So let's see how it smells. Ooh, smells fruity. Yo, that's like straight up drinking cereal milk with like an extra level of fruitiness, actually. I'm quite surprised. Um, like the best I can compare it to is, yeah, like kind of like Fruit Loops, the milk that stays after it. Yo, this is, this is legit cereal milk. I know Ghost Protein calls a lot of their flavors like, you know, chocolate cereal milk, something cereal milk. This is like, wow, I'm amazed. Mmm. That's like a flavor that if I had a tub of it, I would totally like take it to go to have post-workout if I had something after the gym and needed to get some quick protein because just with water, it is freaking delicious that I almost don't want to add anything to it like smoothie wise, but this also would probably taste really good in like my morning oatmeal if I'm craving something a little more fruity than I am chocolate or vanilla. Wow. Mm. 10 out of 10. This, I mean, for the name to the flavor, spot on. Like, there's no doubt about it that you can taste an actual like fruitiness to it. Alrighty, I'm gonna finish this up and then we have two flavors left. All right, so even getting over a head cold, I'm feeling pretty darn good. Had a good workout, time to replenish my muscles with some good protein. So I think, gosh, between the cinnamon cereal and the blueberry donut, I wanna save the blueberry donut for last. So let's do cinnamon cereal and see if it tastes kinda like a cinnamon toast crunch. All right, mixed perfectly. So this stuff right here has 100 calories, zero fat, five carb, and 20 protein. Awesome, let's give it a nice try now. Mmm, I can smell that cinnamon for sure. Mmm. Right off the bat, cinnamon. I love it. Oh my gosh, like, it honestly is best comparable to like a cinnamon cereal, a cinnamon toast crunch, because of the fact when like you take that first spoonful of cinnamon toast crunch, you get a pretty prominent cinnamon flavor. It's not like cereal then cinnamon, it's cinnamon then cereal. So this is freaking spot on. Like, I mean, even if they were to call it like cinnamon roll, I would say, nah, it doesn't really taste like cinnamon roll. It tastes more like a cinnamon toast crunch. Oh my gosh. Spot on with the flavor once again. Now, like, the cinnamon cereal isn't always my go-to, so where I do give this a 10 out of 10 for anyone who loves cinnamon toast crunch, it may not exactly be a flavor that I go to, except if I ever, like, were to create a protein snickerdoodle cookie, this would definitely, definitely be usable for that, if not, you know, a vanilla protein powder adding the cinnamon to it. So this is really, really good. Mmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. And then I'll catch you guys for the last flavor. All right, you guys. So we have made it to the last flavor, which is the blueberry donut. So I'm going to quickly mix this up with some water and then we're going to taste test it. All right, you guys, the blueberry donuts. So we get to try this and then we get to bring all the flavors together to go over the ratings. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I smell the blueberry for sure. Mmm, that's a really nice, like, blueberry dessert flavor. Oh my goodness. Mmm, mm-hmm. Wow, so good, a nice sweet blueberry. Nothing too fakey, it just tastes like sugary blueberry. Like, that's the best way to put it. So I guess blueberry donut is an appropriate name to call it. It is really freaking good, oh my goodness. Wow. I would so buy that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I feel like that that could be a flavor that most people can try and would like it. So I am going to give it a 10 out of 10. So yeah. 
Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me finish this up and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, guys, so I have all the flavors in front of me and we have nine flavors that we tried. And out of them, five of them, I gave a 10 out of 10. Those were the cookies and cream, cinnamon cereal, peanut butter cookie, fruity cereal, and the blueberry donut. Otherwise, the other ones we had were the pecan pie, which was like a 7.5, banana nut bread, 9.5, cherry pie, a nine, and a chocolate almond coconut, 8.5. But overall, wow. Bomar, Bomar Nutrition really nailed it when it came to these flavors. The only other brand that I've ever seen come out with such wild flavors was Steel. If you guys remember that video, I'll link the card up above if you want to see what they had to offer because they had some pretty wild flavors themselves. And then other than Live Body, also having some wild flavors that taste absolutely delicious. So this is probably going on a list that I'm compiling for like top five and bottom five best vegan protein powder. So this is awesome, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to see if I can hook you guys up with some kind of coupon code and I'll put it in the description box below if I'm able to because you guys gotta try these. Maybe I'll try one of the top fives. If you've tried it before, let me know in the comment section below or comment which flavor you think you would love to try. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, Join the FitFam, click that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. If there's any new supplements as well you want me to try, comment that below. Otherwise, not too sure what videos we got next for you. Maybe we'll do a workout. It's been a while and I'm trying to get back into the kick of things. So let me know what you'd like to see. We're in our off season, so full day meeting maybe we'll do. All right, but I'll catch you guys then. Bye.